keeps well, it gets very high there. Yeah, he keeps moving way up the Oh, ball. and a big, big crash. Well, at least one of the Red Bull cars involved. And that's Briscoe's the that's other Briscoe. one. That's Briscoe. The rear uh, has been uh, removed from the tub. Wow. Yeah, you can see the whole back end of the car uh, going down the racetrack farther. And the other was a Red Bull entry. Couldn't tell exactly which one it was, but uh, Barron was back there on the track with Briscoe. Briscoe's car upside down. Wow. The He's uh, moving inside the car, you can the see uh, the engine and the transaxle back there. These cars are actually made in uh, in two different parts. The engine's attached to the tub. The tub is uh, a completely separate entity. And you can see that the whole differential and engine has come completely off of that car with the impact. Well, you saw that Baron walked out. He is he climbed out, walked away. He is all right. So, well, this is a uh, Matt Sura was also involved in it. So there's uh, Matt Sura back there, also involved in that accident. Uh, he's uh, moving around in the car. They're getting a neck piece out right now. It looks like he's going to be able he's to climb okay. out. Yeah, he's okay. So at least uh, two of the guys out of their cars. Wow, somebody got up into that wheel fence. That's what look probably how, took the rear of the car off. Look how hard that hit, yeah. Yeah, the you're, probably you're cut, exactly probably right. Caught the rear wheel that one pole, out. that one pole is uh, bent so badly that he probably got into that pole and just jerked the whole rear end of the car off. Well, let's see if we have this on replay, Larry, as to what happened, how it was triggered. Because obviously we did not see it happen. Uh, you can see. Oh, oh look how high man. he got! Look how high he got! The fence kept him in the ballpark. Wow, he got into the side. Of, uh, Let's watch Barron. again. He got in the side of Barron, rode over the front. Wow. Wow. That was very, very, very fortunate. The catch fence was there. It held. That was a huge impact. The top part of the car, the tub, uh, caught the fence. And you can see Matt Sura on around the racetrack, ran through the debris and hit the, uh, hit the wall. Wow. And you can see the damage to the, uh, there's the safer barrier and the, and the uh, catch fence did exactly what it was to, they call them wheel fences, but that's what they're, they're designed to do is keep the car inside the ballpark. Exactly. Keep the parts and debris inside the racetrack. And, uh, this is on board now. This is from this Dixon's, is Dixon's car. car. This is from Scott Dixon's car. There you can see the contact. He was clear up on the race. Oof. That thing was standing on the tail of the car. He almost got collected right there. Boy. See the moisture kicked up on the camera lens, and he was almost collected by his teammate. Luckily, everybody missed him, though. And, and Larry, these cars are basically built to come apart like that. Look at the hole there in the yeah. fence. But it's scary to see them come apart. They're built that way. It really dissipates the energy right. and takes the energy away from the driver. These cars are actually built in three separate sections. The tub, which is where the driver sits and the fuel tank is, and then the engine is bolted to that tub, and then the rear axle, rear end assembly with the axles attached to the rear end and the rear wing, that is actually attached to the engine. So there are three distinct separate pieces to this race car. And, uh, you know, like you said, a few bolts hold it together, so it's designed to come apart like that. But, man. We want to hear from Eddie Cheever, whose driver, Alex Barron, was involved in this crash and climbed out and walked away. Uh, let's see if Jamie has uh, caught up with Eddie Cheever.